So session recording. Uh, all right, for everybody, today is going to be our lesson consolidation, meaning we're just going to put everything together. Lahat ng mga lessons natin, especially yung pinaka last na lesson niyo, wherein you are going to find your super or finishing move. Kasi it's very important to find your niche. And as much as possible, gusto ko ring maritain ninyo lahat ng mga lessons niyo. So, here we go. Okay? We're gonna create a super filter. So, we're gonna make a watch list and a trade plan for 10 stocks of any setup of your choosing. Kung sa tingin niyo yan yung pinakamagandang setup na nakita niyo or yung pinaka or yung, uh, best ninyong pick, then let's go for that. Okay? This is a uh, solo or in individual um panto individual hunting of stocks but of course if you want to do it for you know as a group walang problema uh, especially those na magkakapareho ng trading style yung mga momentum traders uh, especially uh, tapos if ever may mga kasama kayong mga swing traders or trend followers go ahead walang problema okay so um here are some guidelines para matulungan kayo on how to create your filter so, number one, you may discuss with your classmates or go solo uh, when you when you are building the filter. Ito, second, have points and ranking system to identify the stocks with your setup or niche in mind. So, halimbawa, um, boss breakout. Ilang points yung ibibigay mo pag 3 months siya? Ilang points yung ibibigay mo pag 6, pag 9, pag 80H? So, syempre, the higher the points, Yun yung magbibigyan, yun yung bibigyan yun ng priority. Number three, you, your filter must be able to sort by MA status, type of tarbas box, Fibonacci type, RSI zone. So remember, naalala nyo pa ba? Ano ba yung MA status natin? Johan, do you still remember? Yes. Ano ba yung ano, status ng isang stock based on MA? What, how would you be able to know kung gaano kabilis or ano ba yung status niya? Eh, fast MA trail? Yeah, okay. So, merong fast, merong slow. Ano pa? Hindi lang yun ano ah. Yes, exactly. Kung outs or hindi. Good. Now, how about Melvin? Melvin, what kind of Darvas box are there? Anong mga classing types ang meron tayo? One, two, three. All right. So how about ano? Uh, parang well, alam mo naman yani. Eh. Pero sige, Mike. Mike, narinig mo ako. How about Fibonacci types? Can you tell me kani yung mga gusto natin in order of preference? Ganon na lang. Yung pinakauna, yun yung preferred natin. Anong classing type of Fibonacci? Parang review na rin to sa exam nyo ah. <laughs> Bakit parang hindi ka sigurado dyan ah? Parang may question mark too? <laughs> oh kasi nakalagay to? Ganun lang eh. <laughs> Okay, so in... It's a preference natin when it comes to Fibonacci. Yes, it's two. Alright? Uh, kung may one, kung wala, nang, kung wala na talagang two, then let's go for one. Pero never three. Okay? Now, yes, pwedeng pwedeng ganun, Johan. Strong normal week. Uh, if you're gonna do the, ano, if in a number mo yan, that's two, one, three. And then, how about RSI zones? Abby. How about RSI zones? Anong... Ano yung mga RSI zones natin? One, two, three, four. Saan yung 70 above? Anong zone yun? Yun. Very good. So, here's a watch list guidelines ha. Categorize the 10 stocks into A grade. Siyempre, lagay mo yung niche mo. Yan yung pinaka- Baga bread and butter or yung sa tingin mo sobrang high probability na sobrang dali mo lang siyang matitrade. Okay? So, ito yung maggagalaw within 2 weeks or yeah, within 2 weeks. B grade, ito yung mga sa tingin mong uh, 
uh, magmo-move within the month. Now, sa A grade usually ang 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 uh, difference nito, pagka sobrang galing mo na sa isang niche, you would be able to feel, you know, parang or you'd be able to to estimate kung kailan siya magbe-breakout within a week. Nilagay ko lang dito two weeks para syempre pag nagsisimula pa lang kayo um, you're still building experience, you're still building that intuition. So sometimes it might take up to two weeks. But don't uh, worry kung minsan umabot kayo ng three, that's okay. What's important is that you'd be able to see the move before it happens. Alright? And then our B grade setup is within the month dun siya gagalaw. C grade. So ito yung mga experimental setups. Ito yung mga setup na alam mo siya kung paano siya alam ano yun alam mo kung ano yung mga parameters niya alam mo kung paano siya gumalaw pero hindi ka talaga ganun ka confident when it comes to executing it finally degrade ito yung mga di, yung mga setups na you are totally clueless about and ito yung mga gusto nating hindi ano ito yung mga gusto nating iwasan so ayan categorize mo lang whenever you see a setup a b c d tapos remember c and d as much as possible, we do not want to trade these setups. Yung A at saka B lang talaga. Focus on those. Okay? And then finally, E grade. Ito yung setup na ibaban mo. So, halimbawa, pag sa BSC, maraming ganyan eh. Yung mga, halimbawa, for some reason, hindi ka talaga po may pera sa stock na yan. For some reason, parang bulok talaga. Like, halimbawa, pag bumili ka na yan, biglang bumigat yung stock, babagsak. May mga ganun. <laughs> And uh, gusto mong iwasan yung mga ganun na stock. Halimbawa, pag mga 4, 5, 6, or 7 tries mo na, wala pa rin talaga. Baka kailangan mo na siyang iban. Baka hindi, pa tar- hindi talaga siya para sa'yo. It happens. Finally, trade plan and execution. So, once you have finished your watch list, create a trade plan that you will execute when your triggers are hit. Okay? What you need to plan in your trade are the following. Number one, Yung buying mo. Where, when, and how. So, especially yung tranching mo, kailangan maging detailed ka nun eh. Baka mamaya ang sasabihin mo lang, ah, bibili ako pag nag-break out. So, you know, that's answering when and where. But, how is a different, you know, different question. Kasi baka mamaya, hindi mo pala gustong bilhin before the breakout. You know, gusto mo bilhin after the breakout. So, all these things you have to keep in mind when you're doing your trading plan and execution. Next, your cut loss point and invalidation level. Of course, ito yung pinaka-important when you find a trading setup. Hindi pwedeng hanggang buy plan lang, hanggang sell. Kailangan ito yung second or ito yung pinaka-first. Actually, ito yung pinaka-first na titingin mo sa trading setup. Or second. Basta ito yung main na dapat titingnan mo. When you look at the trading setup, look kung asan mo siya pwedeng i-cut or saan yung invalidation level niya. Okay. Next is your selling plan. This, again, where, when, and how, it's the same as uh, number one, yung sa buying. Again, especially when you're tranching, kailangan mo ding alamin kung kailan ka mag, ano yan, kung ano yung mga details nito. And your risk management strategy. Very important tong risk management kasi paano kung wala kang risk management tapos bili ka ng bili hanggang sa pa all in ka, di ba? Not something we'd like to happen. Meron pa kayong, sino bang naka-experience dito na Yung, yung risk manage plant niya is ano eh, bili lang hanggang sa maubos yung buying power. Meron ba? Maraming ganyan eh. Meron ba sa inyo ganun? Yung innate for some reason? Meron niya atang belief na, ay, kailangan ko maubos yung buying power. Kung meron pa akong buying power, kailangan ko itong ubusin. Yan. Oo, oh, nangyayari talaga sa Johan. Kaya ingat tayo dyan. And then, conclude this by comparing your trade plan from your actual execution. Yun, si Mike. Ako din eh. Ako din. Uh, actually, sobrang guilty ko dyan eh. Sobrang lala ko, like, uh, pati yung adlat, papatulan ko eh. No? Ganun. So, execution and journaling. Uh, every time you execute a stock, in your watch list, journal the experience. So, what you can do, um, try to, syempre, alamin mo kung ano yung emotions mo. Later, I'm gonna show you how to do it sa, uh, sa Edgewonk. Pakitaan ko kayo ng sample. But, better din na, uh, ano, uh, you go through the videos. Meron silang tutorials on how to do it. Uh, okay, so, 
Number two is how was your planning versus the actual execution. Very important yan kasi baka mamaya iba pala yung iba, iba yung plan mo tapos pag execute mo maling mali pala no. Finally, ah sorry, third is did you trade the stock that were not in your watch list? So, meron tayong meron dalawang klase yan eh, yung mga unplanned trades at yung template trades. Ngayon, ano bang difference ng dalawa? Halimbawa, uh, unplanned trades can fall under the category of template trades, okay? Ang um, ang unplanned trades yan usually yung mga nangyayari when um, you weren't able to see a stock tapos lumabas yung setup niya intraday. And then um, either na FOMO ka, so dapat trade ka, ayan, medyo negative yan. Now, one way to, halimbawa, pantanggal ng kate, lumabas yung trade, hindi mo siya napagplanuhan. Pero, you'd be able to minimize your risk, especially when you have a template trade. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but just in case sobrang kate mo talaga, hindi mo na kayang mag, hindi mag-trade. Kailangan meron kang template. Okay? A template trade is where you'd be able to identify you know, um, parang siyang cookie cutter. <laughs> parang meron ka ng template na ah, basta, basta hindi, you know, yung especially sa stops, kailangan ma-observe mo yun na pagka yung stop na yun na-hit, you sell. Okay? And then, ito yung isang important din. How did you feel before, during, and after you executed? Very important ito kasi kailangan mo maintindihan baka mamaya, um, you know, when your journal happens, when you have your statistics, uh, it's important that you would be able to understand kung ano yung mga naramdaman mo that time. So, habang fresh pa yung trade, do the trade and then execute mo yun. Lagay mo kung ano yung mga naramdaman mo dun. Okay, and then how, pinakalas, how could you have done the trade better? Very important. And then, ito, submit your work via Google Slides. Remember the, ano, yung pinagawa ko sa inyong uh, watch list. Well, you can do something like that as well in Edgewonk or you can do that in in Google. Up to you. So, ang iba ginagawa nila is pag sobrang complicated ng journal, they make their own journals. Um, ako usually ganun yung ano, mas approach ko kasi mas naiintindihan ko yung gawa ko eh. But, syempre, if you have um, really super good tools that can create and see the statistics of your work, that is much better as well. Okay, make it fancy. Uh, be detailed, have fun, send the link to your respective channels as well. So, now, this is a very important thing. Parang, parang cheat sheet or cheat code na to ng ZFT system, okay? So, here, we're just gonna stack the odds. Because why make it hard on yourself if you can't find easy trades? So, ganito lang itsura niyan, guys. The whole ZFT system, if you put a super filter if you'd put uh you know like combine everything together you're gonna get this okay so first hanapin mo kung sino yung outs plus gusto natin yung ganon yung fast trail syempre ayaw natin ng slow gusto natin sa darvas box mauna yung boss breakout especially pagka 88 siya multi-year high or 52 week pwede din naman yung six months or nine months but of course gumitin lang natin yun pag wala nang iba talagang uh, choice. And then Fibonacci, we want to be in the bull zone or the 23% Fib or the 38. Finally, when it comes to the RSI, we want to have a greater than 70 RSI or, you know, in between 50 to 70 and syempre kailangan meron din tayong RSI will break out. So, if you use this as, as a filter, your trading is really gonna show you wonders, okay? So, ito lang yung kailangan yung i-memorize dyan. Hindi kailangan sobrang uh, complicated. Remember guys, itong uh, trading, well, trading, um, hindi, walang, walang holy grail dito sa, sa ZFT system because this holy grail is you, okay? Once you accomplish this task, you would have fully experienced how the ZFT system and the process works. And this will serve as your stepping stone in building on your own system. It's very important that you'd be able to build your own system and use the ZFT system as your foundation. Kasi, shortcut na yun eh. Parang ito na yung parang pinaka mabilis na way para maggrow kayo. So, 
I'm gonna give you a sample of how I'm gonna be uh, doing some trades. Mag-execute din tayo para um, mas makita niya how we are going to do things. First, I am going to send to you guys uh, the link to um, tawag nito. use your phones and download the app. You can download um, yeah, you can download either app using using Play Store or kung nasa app anin Apple kaman pwede mo rin hanapin yung eToro dyan. and then use this link as well so I would be able to monitor you guys now what we're gonna do here is uh, titignan natin kung ano yung mga possible na mga place and kung paano tayo pwedeng uh, mag trade <laughs> itong global markets now I'm gonna give you a very quick way para malaman kung paano tayo mag uh, filter ng mga stocks. Teka, pasilip muna nito. Ito, no, no 52 week high eh. Yoohoo! Yan. Alright. Sana mag breakout. Anyway, um, so here we go. We first go to trade markets. So this is the virtual account uh, ng eToro ko. And, lahat ba kayo may eToro, guys? Are you still there? I hope you guys are. Wala pa, okay. boss. So, yung mga wala pa, mag-register na kayo dito sa link, ha? Tonight. <laughs> Tsaka, kailangan na natin ma, ano, matutunan kung paano to gamitin kasi bulok yung PSE. <laughs> okay. So, uh, meron pa tayong ibang features in eToro and that would be really something uh, you might want to look into. Teka, may sinasabi si Ann. Wait. Nagda-download pa yata, sir. Ah. Ah, anong, anong dinownload ko? Yeah, actually, pwede din web-based, guys. <laughs> Doon sa link na sinend ko. So, isa-isa natin. Now, once you get into the eToro platform, you'd be able to see this. So, makita mo dito, ito yung watch list mo. You'd be able to see here, you know, if you type uh, people here or if you would able to type, uh, let's say, mga stocks. Uh, let's say, ano bang Google. So, makita mo dyan, oh, wala pala, si Google pala yun. Si Google. So, when you click that, lalabas yung Google. And then, if may feed dyan, you don't want to be spending time sa feed. Even sa stats, you want to look into the chart derecho. And then, if you look at the chart, you'd be able to see this. Pero this is the one hour chart. We're gonna go and see the one day. Okay? So, ayan, makita mo, all time high na. Sarap, di ba? <laughs> so, here, you'd be able to see kung ano yung mga gusto mong. Let's say, uh, ito to, settings to. So, you can go to ano, pro charts. You can change the theme to light or dark. Ayan, kung gusto mong magmukhang pro, pero di pa naman pro, di ba? Ang cool lang tingnan. <laughs> Tapos meron ding, uh, ayan, type. Makita mo kung anong klaseng candles yung gagamitin mo. Weird ng Renko. <laughs> Parang mga mountains lang, no? Tapos punta ka dun. Siyempre, gusto natin yung regular. Taka, taka, balik tayo sa regular. Yan. And then, uh, here are tools. If you look here, katabi lang ng settings. You click that, lalabas dito yung mga, let's say, ayan, yung, yung first one. And then sa periodic periodicity. Siyempre, one day. Chart type. Here. We'd like to have a candle, of course. Sa tools mo, dito na lalabas yung mga Fibonacci. If you want line. Um, hindi ko alam kung meron ba itong mga, uh, ang tawag nito. Parang mga settings. But anyways, uh, if you go to studies, you can go to moving average. Ah, actually, studies too pala. Here you go. Moving averages. So you can click there and then choose Let's say, ayan, 50 MA, palitan mo yung color dyan, and then pwede mong i-create. Once you click create, lalabas na kagad yung moving average mo dyan. So do that until you get the three ones over here. And then click that again, punta ka sa studies 2, and then baba ka, lagay mo yung RSI. Siyempre, lagay natin yung, uh, if you want to put 80 to 20, if you want 70 or 30, go ahead. Tapos 14. Okay? Pwede mong gawing black. Ikaw, nasa iyo. If you wanna color this, let's say, gawin natin 70 to 30, ah. And then, gawin natin yung 
And uh, lagay natin green sa taas, tapos red sa baba. All right, let's create it. And then, ito na siya. Erase natin itong isang RSI. So here is your RSI already. La 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 la. And then, what else? Now you have your chart there. Ang mga yari nyan auto save na kaagad yan. Uh, whenever you look into other charts, lalabas yung mga settings mo. So don't worry about it. If you wanna put your chart sa taas, yung RSI, ilagay mo dyan sa taas, go ahead. If gusto mo ilagay sa baba, yan, pwede din. Settings is nandito lang. If you wanna close it, just click X. And then, here we have, halimbawa, pwede kang dumiretso. Ah, uh, sorry. Patapunta tayo sa rock gaming. If you wanna change, or I mean, if you wanna look into other symbols, like halimbawa, um, Apple. Yan, click mo lang and then it's gonna bring you to Apple. That will compare this uh, chart currently si Google to Apple. If you'd like to compare, but of course hindi natin gusto yan. Just click right click. And then pwede yung gawin mo is click mo lang dito sa chart na to. You know, here in this window and just click Apple. And then select. Lalabas na kaagad to dito. Chating. Here you go guys, another all-time high. All right. Aren't you guys excited? And ano pa? Am I missing something? All right. So here is the question. Ano oras nga po yung open? The market opens. Um, the U.S. market opens at 9:30. 9:30 p.m. So yeah, minsan 10:30 yata parang yung ko para may may mga daylight savings time pa yata or something. But it changes from 9:30. PM to 10:30 PM. Such weird, but that's how it is. Ganyan talaga sila dun. Anyways, um, London market is also opening. If you're looking into London, that's uh, 4 PM yata sila nag open So pagkatapos ng PSE London Exchange. So for those who are in the Middle East, if sa tingin yun hindi nyo kaya yung PSE, pili lang kayo gusto yung US market. Or if you don't want US market, go for uh, London. Or European stocks. Pwedeng pwede. Meron ding Saudi Arabian stock dito eh. Alam ko yung oil. Tindi din ng price action nun. Pero yun, isa pa lang meron eh. Now, how do you navigate through this, um, anong tawag nito? Uh, to this platform. So, first, you go to trade markets. Okay. So, here in the trade market, lalabas dito sa pinakataas yung featured markets mo. You have, let's say, ito, market movers, kung ano yung mga top gainers and top losers. Yung mga nandito sa eToro, um, I think, pagka na, nandito sa eToro, ibig sabihin po, masa sila sa liquidity. Ng, uh, remember, these are CFDs, okay? Not, um, ang difference ng CFDs sa stocks, parang, ano, mini-mirror niya yung, yung regular stocks. Pero this one kasi, uh, anong pangalan ng let nakalimutan ko for basta different something <laughs> yung dulo but anyway here you you have your stocks over here so market movers second is the crypto coins you have crypto crosses you have the technology stocks you have financial stocks ito yung sectors pwede ka mag trade ng indices okay it's here you just click view all you'd be able to see kung ano yung mga indices na nandiyan and then you can also go and check out uh here major currencies so if you want to go and look into doing forex here go ahead pero medyo malaki yung ano nito eh uh sa eToro has a huge spread especially if you're going to go real money with this one pero i think one of the best things about eToro is yung copy trade na function niya here in copy people so halimbawa marami kang pera wala kang oras you can just copy people who are profitable and ayan, kung magaling ka naman na trader, pwede ikaw naman yung mag-trade. Tapos ikaw yung kakapi ng mga tao. Etoro is gonna be paying you. And ano pa ba? Um, depending on your performance, if you make, you know, money. And ang daming nag sa sa'yo, you get a percentage of their profits as well. So, I don't know how they managed to do that. Pero, yeah, that's the system that they created. Hindi mo na kailangan mag maging broker or maging you know a certified fund manager it or just facilitates everything for you it's a win-win 
Walang problema, Mimi. Glad to have you here. And we have commodities as well. Uh, here, you have yan, silver, you have cocoa oil, merong gold. I would suggest that you just go for, let's say, gold. Kasi yan yung may pinakamababa na, na spread. And at least hindi siya ganun katindi. Oil pwede rin. Just be very mindful of your leverage. And then, we have ETFs. Okay? And, ay, ako hindi ko tinitrade yan. Uh, ako, I just trade the commodities, um, especially gold and oil. And then, some major currencies, I just trade GBP, USD, and, ano pa ba yung isa? Yeah, uh, GBP, USD, and also gold. Actually, yan lang dalawa. As much as possible. Hindi na ako nag-trade ng iba. And then, sa indices naman, I trade SPX. Ito yung pinaka-favorite kong i-trade. And then, ano pa ba? Yeah, pwede mo namang i-trade yung iba eh. Walang problema. Pero SPX yung pinaka-favorite ko. Kasi ano siya eh, SPX, Nasdaq, 100, and meron pa atang isa eh. Itong DJ30. So these three, st these three indices, ito sila yung parang almost, um, anong tawag nito? Almost everyday na nag-trade. Ay, sorry, not everyday. Parang almost 24-7. 24-5 bala, sorry. 24-5 na nagtitrade. So, the rest, minsan, ano, nag-open, nag-close lang din sila during their market open and close. So, yun. And then, what else? So, if you're gonna go to... Um, again, newsfeed, hindi natin. As much as possible, we don't wanna look into the newsfeed. We just want to go... Um, let's say let's go trade markets okay so halimbawa here we go and look into other stocks like halimbawa pwede tayong magpunta dito sa stocks you see these these ano, tabs over here you can just click halimbawa stocks and then here you'd be able to see uh, kung anong kung saan and you can explore all stocks by industry kung dami dyan, basic materials conglomerate healthcare kung meron kang gustong uh, industry or you can select exchange so meron dyan ang pinakamarami yata is yung syempre, New York and New York Tech there's also Frankfurt London and then the rest konti lang yung nakikita mo now I know this might sound very hmm uh, paano ba to very uh, what do you call this info overload very overwhelming uh, but here's a very simple way so that sobrang bilis mo lang uh, mahanap ng paraan para mag scan okay so this is how i scan let's say ang gusto natin is exchange and we want to to check let's uh halimbawa paris or let's say london ah no no, no new york na lang new york tech Yung, ano, sa leverage, uh, I would suggest that you would do a maximum of times 5 lang for leverage, especially for stocks. No, for stocks, let do times 2. Yun lang. Huwag muna kayo mag times 5, huwag kayo mag times 10. Try not to do that unless handa kayong masunog. And then, for, for, um, anong tawag nito? Basta bigyan ko kayo ng, ano, ng parang warning or suggested limits uh, for let's say for stocks for forex and for commodities kung ilan yung dapat ninyong leverage but guys wag niyo subukan na i-max ha nakailang sunog na ako and it's not it's not happy <laughs> it's not a happy sight anyways okay so i want you to to check kasi pwede niyo gawin ganito um this is how you would be able to um view Let's say, for example, uh, you wanted to do this kind of view or the other one, the list view. I recommend that you do the list. Okay? Now, we're going to explain why. Sa list view, makikita nyo dito that there's a 52-week range. N don't mind the sentiment. Hindi mo, wala kang pakialam dyan. Ever. What's important is that you see the 52-week range. And you would see here, on the left side, is the 52-week low. On the right side is your 52-week high. Okay? So, pag nakita nyo yung stock 
malapit dito sa 52 week high then that's something that we would like to buy kasi ibig sabihin nagte-trend ng malakas yung stock and pag kayong um anong tawag nito pag yung stock natin is nasa nandito sa area na to sa 50 week low that's a stock that we want to short pwede din namang mag swing trade but i wouldn't really recommend it but okay let's let's try Let's try doing something like okay. Try nothing if print screen. I'm gonna just print screen that, and then okay. Here you go. Now this is all noise. This is all noise. What I want you to see, para mas mabilis, is kung asan tayo pwedeng makahanap ng mga opportunities to buy. All right? Kasi gusto natin yung long eh. Sanay tayo sa long. Wag mo na kayo sa short. You can try shorting. Uh, pwede kayo mag-practice. Pero as much as possible, as much as possible, we'd like to go for the long. Para hindi kayo ma, ma, ma preempt. Okay? So now, what we want to have is our stocks na pasok dito. Let's say, sabihin natin ganito. Yan. So, yung mga stocks lang na yan, parang kumbaga, hinati lang natin to. Teka, tanggalin natin tong no fill muna. Okay, so what we did is we just divided this into areas. Isipin nyo, nagzo-zoning lang tayo ng RSI. Just imagine we're zoning RSIs. Okay, so this is zone. This is your RSI area. And then, ito yung zone 4 and 1. Tama ba? Okay, so hinati lang natin dyan. And then, we divide this again here. I'm just using my bare eyes in creating this stuff. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now, what do we see? Anong mga stocks yung mga pumasa sa zone 4? This is, let's say, this is zone 1. Taka, lakasan nga natin. So, ba? Kaya natin 16. Okay, zone. Bumalik siya dun. So, 1. 16. Okay, zone 1. And then we have zone 2, zone 3, finally we have zone 4. Alright, so sino yung mga nasa zone 4 guys? We have one over here, we have another one over here, uh, we have another one over here, uh, we have another one over here, and dami! And then, okay, so that's it. Sobrang bilis lang. Hindi na natin kailang tingnan kung ano yung mga, mga stocks na nandito. We just need to see Apple, Adobe, um, itong ADP and Autodesk. So from here, what we can do is just go here uh, to trading view chart. I'm just gonna share that as well. Kasi sometimes if you go to let's say okay let's say let's go as eh, an ito ito yung watch list natin we're gonna go to apple right so apl now sa apple ang yung data ng trading view yung napapakita niya since sobrang sobrang ano since time immemorial mas accurate yung data niya but the problem with Trading view is that it's not real time. Late itong trading view na to. So if you're gonna look at Apple here using um, eToro, it's it's much uh, real time, although close nga siya. But but ayan, ito ang nakita niya konti lang din ata compared to dito. See? So the data that you would see in trading view is complete versus if you're using the data here on eToro. But again, um, once na, na verify mo yung data here sa uh, trading view, you'd be able to create your trading plan here in eToro. And then next, we're just gonna look into the next stock. Ano ba yung next stock natin? ADBE, Adobe, or you just click that one. ADBE. Here you go. So we are we are seeing here an all-time high breakout as well. Grabe no. Sana kung yung Pilipinas lang yung mga stocks natin. 
ganito din eh, no? Sobrang sarap sana. Kaso, wala. Bagsak. But, so, we have here a gap, uh, gap, um, breakaway gap. And that's a really bullish sign. Of course, pwedeng balikan yan. So, mag-ingat tayo. If ever, it's gonna do a retest, dyan ka bumili if uh, you can. And here, you, you can just look in chart. Makita mo rin yung data na nandyan. And what else? Ano pa ba yung mana sa watch list natin? Okay, we have ADB. ADP. So, ADP. Automatic Data Processing. Okay, so ADP. Here you go. If you check the chart as well. Ayan, same sila. Uh, you can see that there are still resistances present. So, of course, what are we gonna favor? We're gonna favor the previous two versus this one. Kasi may mga resistance pang mga nandito eh. Nalaglag pa siya dito tapos ano pa? Uh, slow, slow trail. Ayaw natin ng ganyan. Next, we have Autodesk. So, ADSK. Okay, so here... We have a stock na sobrang lapit na niya sa kanyang uh, all-time high. Alright. Autodesk. We'll just go to Autodesk. Here you go. Here you go. So, you can see, uy, malapit na. Eh, this is a type 2 box as well. You have a fib. If you do the fib, siguro fib 23. Tapos, ano pa yung ME natin? It's a fast trail as well. And, ayan. It's one of the stocks that we might want to look into. Siyempre, baka mauntog ito. So, always look into possible, you know, entries and ano ba yung mga scenarios mo. Use tranching if possible. Kasi siyempre, ayaw mong majiji dyan. Baka mamaya, pagbili mo, no? Gap down. And here, this is kind of like Investagram as well. Uh, kailangan mo rin to manually set up uh, si TradingView. So here you can create your long or short position. Halimbawa, if bumili ka at this current price, you'd be able to create a, yan, a trading plan over here. So it's gonna compute your risk reward ratio as well uh, when doing your trading plan. Let's say gusto mong mag circuit breaker dito, or if you want a more aggressive approach or a more you know, um, yung ayaw mo na maghintay at saka ayaw mong ma uh, gusto mong saglit lang, sobrang tight ng stop mo to to preserve your capitals, then you can do this as well. So here, and then, syempre, hindi natin lang kung asan ito pwedeng pumunta, no? Unless you wanna do a computation, like, uh, paano ba yun? Yung box, dapat may gun box tayo dito. Something like this. Then, ay, naalala, hopefully, naalala nyo pa ito, ah. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, um, Tanggalin natin tong background, bottom labels, tanggalin nyo rin yan. Uh, wala din time na time. Okay, and then what else do we do? No background. Right, uh, lagyan natin ng right and left. Ano? Ah, no left and right labels. Wait. Ito meron pala dito dapat para yung color niya. Tanggalin lang natin to. And then ito. Okay. And this one's over here as well. Um, ito pala, 0.5. Para nandyan yung ating D50. If you wanna create a white one over here para mas clear siya. Kasi black yung chart natin. So here we have our uh, GAN box. Um, you can duplicate that. Here, clone, copy. Uh, clone. And then, patong mo lang siya dyan. And you get your TP over here. Saan na ba yun ating ano? Ah, ito, 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 nandito na pala. So, yung target natin, let's say, ito yung ating initial target. So, here you are. You have already your um, initial trading plan, especially for those na, ayan, pwede mo ilagay dito. So, 2.75 risk-reward ratio. Hmm, bullish market yung US eh. Pwede natin increase gawin mong konting overshoot, lagay natin dito para maging 3 at least. So, yan yung gusto mong expected na minimum before you take profits. Of course, you wanna uh, just um, adjust that when possible or when the market gives you. Uh, yeah. But, of course, you want to just um, 
play uh, these figures over here, especially. Yeah, here. And then, syempre, again, dun sa watch listing natin, ano ba yung, ano ba yung pwede natin gawin? Uh, remember, you can do a halimbawa, uh, okay, what is the trade plan? Trade idea. Ano yung trade setup? Okay, first, what's in here? Pwede kang mag-momentum, pwede ka rin mag-swing, pwede ka rin mag-TF. So, if your setup is, let's say, a type 2, ah, sorry, uh, trade setup is momentum trade. Lagay mo momentum trade, tapos ilagay mo kung ano yung mga um, checklist mo, which is type 2 box. Lagay ka dito ng type 2 fib. Malamang type 2 yung retracement niyan. Ano pa ba? Anong itsura ng ano niya, ng MAs niya? Ni Autodesk, it's Outs Plus. Outs Plus. Anong classing type of boss breakout? It's ATH boss breakout. And then from here, what else? What else are you want what else do you want to add? You know, wala pa tayong stock na to. So what you can do is you can just add Let's say, yeah, RSI Zone 4. Thank you, Mike. RSI Zone 4. Ano pa yung mga ano natin? Ano pa yung mga um, parameters natin? So, again, pwede mong gawin. Let's say, momentum trade. Uh, tapos, let's say, ito yung mga, ito yung mga, itong klaseng momentum trade. Anong itawag mo dito? Let's say, momentum trade A grade. Tapos, is it a type 2 box? X. Yes. Ah, sorry. Check pala dapat yan. Ano ba yung check? Parang X yung alam ko eh. Ah, hindi. Y na lang. Para yes. Is it a type 2 fib? Yes. Is it outs plus? Yes. ETH box breakout? Yes. RSI zone 4? Yes. So, meron ka kagad checklist for this one. So, yan yung ano um, for trade setup. And then, pwede mo ilagay dyan template na rin to eh. So, pagka na, halimbawa, you missed a stock. You didn't know that it was doing this kind of trade setup and you missed it in your watch list. Finally, nakita mo, uy, pumasa lahat ito. Pwede mo kaagad gamitin yung template na yun to trade that stock. And then, what are you currently feeling right now? Ito na yung mga Miss Universe questions, right? What am I feeling right now? <laughs> so, pwede, I am excited. Kasi, kumain ako. <laughs> kumain ako, busog. I'm well rested. <laughs> so these are um, these are factors that you might want to consider. Pwede mo din siyang ilagay as ano actually ilagay mo siya sa um, parang custom parameters mo. Custom parameters. Pwede mo ilagay yan. Um, in your custom parameters, you could put are you well rested? Yes or no lang yung mga dito ah. Are you well rested? Rested. Ibig sabihin, 8 hours of sleep. Kung hindi, ilagay mo lang yes or no. Okay? And then, ano pa? Are you in a positive state or are you in a negative state? Okay, so what state are you in? Hindi ito yung state of Atlanta, state of... Kung ano ba yung states in United States. Haha, <laughs> corny! But, what state do you have right now in your psychology? Alright? Pwedeng you're going through a negative state because nag-away kayo ng you know, girlfriend or boyfriend mo or probably nag-away kayo ng nanay mo or ng tatay mo or probably wala ka ng nanay so talagang sobrang negative state mo and that's these are kind of um, states that you might want to look into uh, when you're trading pwedeng namatayin ka ng aso and so you're in a negative state while you're doing your trading plan or when you're executing it kailangan mong malaman kung uh, especially when you're executing it Kailan mo malaman. Now, pwedeng ang mangyari dito is uh, before the what state are you in, ay, pwede mo ilagay dito how much um, how much percent of portfolio. So, pwedeng nakalagay let's say 10% of portfolio. Dito, itong dalawa very connected din to. Pwede kasing mangyari is pagka sobrang let's say 50% yung nilagay mo dito ng portfolio mo, pwede mag-spike tong state mo. Pwede nalagay negative state ka. Meaning, you're anxious. You're feeling anxious. Or you're feeling edgy. You're feeling... Pero yan, ito yung mga kailangan mong uh, ilagay in your data. As much as possible, pwede mo ilagay, you know, states in the grid 
or states in the fear side of of trading and then what else uh yeah these are custom parameters you can also put kung kumain ka na ba o hindi pwede mong ilagay yun kasi minsan may factor yung mga ganun eh other people think that hey you know what if if i don't eat then i'm fine pero when you do your journal it, it looks like hindi pala hindi pala okay na na hindi ka kumain no so pwede mong ilagay doon uh for edge wong I don't want to I don't want to be um, overloading you with uh, information but here these are examples you know when you go to your edge wonk pag na-install niyo na yan punta kay sa settings okay ito yung home pinaka last tab you go to settings or you can just put setup account and journal and it's gonna put you to like overall pwede mo ilagay yung account name global pwede mo ilagay kung anong klase yung mga tinitrade mo And then, ano yung currency? Siyempre, deposits and withdrawals. Instruments, dito mo ilalagay yung mga uh, tinitrade mo. So, halimbawa, uh, yun nga, Apple. Lagay natin dito, yan. So, yan. Sa setups naman, pwede mo ilagay dito yung swing trade, bounce play, trend following, momentum trade. Pwede mo ilagay yung position trade. Yup. Lagay mo yung mga, let's say, niche trade, anong klase. Other people, they put, halimbawa, sa momentum trade, momentum trade class A, class B, class C. So that's when they're a specialist. Ang dami kasing classing momentum trade. So yan, pwede mong ilagay dyan. The more that you're specific, the better it is for you. So sa sessions, pwede kang maglagay dito. Let's say, missed trades, kung anong classing, you know, mga information ang ilalagay mo dyan. We also have trade comments. So pwede mong ilagay dyan. Um, yan. So here's sa trade comments, pwede mong ilagay sa entry, sa exit, pwede din sa trade management. Okay, sa anong klaseng type? So, entry comments, pwede mong ilagay negative state, positive, lack of sleep. Yun yung kanina ginawa natin. So, ayan, may neutral state, may planned trade, unplanned, followed plan, did not follow plan. And then, here, you put exit comments as well. You could add all those uh, previous comments over here sa entry. Ilagay mo sa exit, copy mo lang yan. And then, syempre sa trade management, pwede mong ilagay yun. And then, alternative strategies. Okay, pwedeng our multiple R. So, dito, paturo kayo kay Ken anong mas maganda. And then, custom statistics you have here uh, for additional lang na ano na information just in case na, you know, you want to add um, additional for statistics. Let's say, for example, yan, lack of sleep or well-rested ka ba? Did not follow plan, followed plan. Pwedeng ganun. Um, but this is custom statistics. Pwede rin siya nasa trade comments lang ilagay mo under the entry. Ang important, meron ka sa entry, meron ka sa exit. Okay? Trade management, pwede din. And then, that's it actually. Uh, pwede, mong, pum- pwede kang pumunta dito sa ano, trade plans. It is, it's on the third uh, tab. And then, add new trade plan. So, halimbawa, entry date. Gusto mong pumasok sa... Okay. Autodesk. So you want to get into Autodesk and you want to get it in uh, let's say in this current price over here probably gusto mong kumuha dito was 175 kasi medyo gusto mo sa support eh kaysa sa dito. Pwede naman. So pwede mo ilagay dito entry date probably today mo siya gagawin. Okay, select okay and then ilagay mo diyan Autodesk. Setup. Anong klaseng setup ang meron tayo dito? Momentum, swing. Okay, pwede din position kasi nagpo-position ka habang hindi pa siya nag-breakout. Pero up to you kung ano yung, uh, what is your definition, you really need to find kung ano ba yung mga gusto mong, uh, how you define your niche as well, especially if you're trading your niche. Let's say we're gonna do a trend following kasi nag-trending up na siya, di ba? And you're buying within that trend. So, syempre, buy and then wala pa, no trade pa. Or pwedeng Ayan, hindi mo naman, ano. Anyway, personal notes. I want to buy a desk. Kasi, na-hype. Na-hype ako sa session ni Boss Z. Okay. So, pwede ganyan sa personal notes. Ang ilalagay mo, okay? Uh, and then, pwede maglagay ka ng screenshot. How you do the screenshot, do this. Uh, you go to um, this one, trading view. You select, let's say, one... Uh, one year. Sana bin. Yan. One year chart. 
you have your one year chart of Autodesk, you select this one, take a snapshot or Alt S. When you click that, you copy and then ilalagay mo na siya dito sa Edge Wonk. Enter URL, click, and then lalabas na dito. You click save. Pwede kang maglagay ng custom comments dito. You're like a uh, positive state. Masaya ka nung nag-charting session sa Z. And then, yan. Itong custom comments, uh, pwede mo siyang i-add dun sa ano. Basta from the, ano, from the settings kanina. Yung isa, pinakita ko lang sa inyo, yung isang column lang yung ginawa ko eh, dito sa positive state. And then you could click here dito sa ika tenth, Kasi ito mga custom states na to eh. Here, in the emotions, you can put, let's say, you're feeling confident. Alright? Pwede ka na maglagay ng hopeful. You're hopeful, confident. Pero mamaya kung may mga, mga panis na mga trades, pero nagtatrade ka pa rin yan, pwede yung malagay mo dyan is, you're hopeful, hopefully fearful. <laughs> pero syempre, gusto natin yung confident tayo. But, you wanna be as honest as possible whenever you're doing your, your journal. Uh, para maging magandang data siya for you. So, please do not lie to yourself. Very important that you have integrity. That's why sinasabi nga natin lagi, di ba? Integrity, integrity. And then, finally, you have to grade yourself. A, B, C. Okay? So, pwede natin lagay dito, did you pass? So-so? Uh, or, bumagsak ka ba dito sa ano mo? Sa, sa pag-plan mo or what? Basta, grade mo yung trading plan na yan. And then, save. La 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 la. Ayan na, lumabas na siya sa trading plan. And then, you just click that if ever you wanna edit or what. And then just, you know, kung gusto mong balikan. Tapos, ayan. Boss, si Edgewonk nag-consume ng storage ng laptop. No? Yes. Uh, Edgewonk consumes storage for laptop. For, um, yeah. The more information. Yes. Yes, definitely. It does consume memory. Uh, I would suggest you use Dropbox. I-save nyo siya sa Dropbox para if mag-restart kayo ng laptop or what, I mean, if reformat niyo, then all your data is just gonna be saved. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not cloud-based. Meron naman silang cloud-based, pero that's going to be a subscription. Ito, itong binili niyong Edgewonk, this is forever, bayad na to. Hindi na kayo magpro-problema dito sa mga up upcoming na bayad. But definitely, if you wanna go for the cloud-based, you can do that. May bayad nga lang. Ayan. So, again, we are here uh, just to summarize things for you guys. Um, ah, yeah. Pwedeng ganito pala. Ngayon, Autodesk, right? Na, ito, isa to sa gusto natin kasi um, nagbagong 52-week high siya dito tapos it's currently doing a 52-week high. So what you can do is just click this and you can create a watch list if you want. Ako, naglagay ako dito ng kinategorize ko siya. Hit list means ito yung mga gusto kong i-trade uh, this week or the next. 52-week highs, yan yung parang lahat ng mga 52-week highs na Na, na nakita ko. Siyempre, gap low is yan yung mga nag... Um, yeah, mga nag-gap na pababa. Tapos, malaki yung bagsak. So, nilalagay ko rin yan. Nilalagay ko rin yung gap high, meaning niya, yeah, nag-gap up siya, tapos malapit siya sa 52-week high, or probably, it created a boss breakout. So, yeah. That's for gap high and gap low. 52-week lows, siyempre yan yung mga nag-create ng 52-week lows. And, ayan. So, si Autodesk, nilagay ko siya sa 52-week high. If I want to trade it, um, this week, I'm just gonna click hit list as well. So, lalabas siya sa hit list. And I've actually created my, um, what do you call this? I actually created my, my watch list over here. So, if ever I put watch list, lalabas dito yung aking mga, mga, tinatagong yaman. So, if I click 52-week high, lalabas lahat ng mga 52-week high na mga stocks na nakita ko. And if I wanna go into that view, yung list view, I would just click that and as you can see, all or most, oh yeah, it's all of my stocks are here in the zone 4. <laughs> Parang ginawa lang natin, di ba? Parang, para mas mabilis. Zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, zone 4. So, yun lang guys. Yun lang ginawa natin. 
makita mo kaagad dito ko ano yung mga nasa zone 4 na mga stocks stocks that you'd like to trade and then um lagay lagay ko na lang sa discord nyo guys if you're trading uh stocks your maximum is times 5 please do not go times 10 if you are just starting out if you're learning please just go for times 2 all right don't die <laughs> I don't want you to die in the stock market. So please uh, manage your, your risks. So ilagay ko na lang dito yung um, uh, risk management. Risk management and leverage. So make sure that you don't overcommit as well. Stocks is times 2 or times 5. Uh, especially when you're starting. Guys, wag muna kayong mag times 5 ha. And then um, for indices... You want to do a maximum of times 30. Uh, sorry, times 10 na lang siguro gawin natin. Para, or let's say times, uh, times 10 if you're starting. Times 10 when you're starting. Okay. Tapos times 30 maximum. Finally, if you are going to plan in doing Forex, please go times 30. Don't go uh, times 100 or times let's say 50 pero times 50 pag uh, medyo sanay ka na okay but i wouldn't recommend na you would do this agad again only when you're starting pwede kayo mo wipe out dito and then um 10 percent 10 to 20 percent per stock per position all right please copy this so, ito yung tatlo yung bilin ko sa inyong gabi, ngayon, gabi. And I want you to just focus on that. You can go into your virtual, you know, and then just trade here for the meantime. If sa tingin nyo, ready na kayo mag-real -port portfolio, just click real portfolio. And it's gonna bring you to your real, real portfolio as well. Tapos, kung ano yung mga stocks na meron kayo, pwedeng ganun. And then, if you want to deposit your uh, funds here, I would suggest you go to your credit card. And then, automatic niya na ila ibibigay. I mean, i instant yung labas, uh, yung pasok ng pera uh, from your credit card to here. But it has to match yung name of card mo at saka yung eToro account. Dapat mag-match. Ako ang ginawa ko is um, I signed up with Facebook. Para ang bilis lang. And then, ayan. So, what else? What else? Am I missing something? Yeah. So, ayan. Um, you have stocks over here. Ito, index. And then, you have some stocks here that I'm trading. If you want to, let's say, for example, we're gonna go for itong si Target. Alright? Or si AVP na lang. So, si AVP... Punta tayo dito. AVP. So here we have, let's say, we go to the 5-year chart. 5-year chart, the AVP, yan, medyo malayo pa. Alright? Marami pa siyang tatahap, kakainin bigas. Galing tong mga 20s eh. But if you're gonna go to the 1-year chart, that's already a 52-week breakout over here. Alright? Over here. And then you see that meron na tayong... Uh, this is the current candle. This opens sa US market. So, ibig sabihin mga 10 or 10.30 to mag-open later. Or is it 9.30? I forgot. But, yeah. Parang mga 10.30 yata to magbubukas later. And then, what I can do is I can just trend follow this stock. Uh, I can go here sa view. Alright. I, I just went for the one day view. Uh, and then, ayan. So, lalabas dito yung ating MAs. We have our 50, we have our 100. It's 33% up because I, I'm using a leverage of times 10. Ayan yung open ko, 4.95. Somewhere, san, sabihan. Ayan, so somewhere here, 4.95. Dito. Sa closing nito. Dito ko bumili. Afterwards, uh, just let it um, move. Kaya bilis, 33%. Pero, yung amount na nilagay ko is only $200. Okay. Um, again, this is a swing trade. I'm not gonna do a TF here. And then, pwede ko... Mali pala yung stop loss. Hindi ko na automate. Damn. 
buti na lang nakita no. So halimbawa dito pwedeng kong ilagay 5.1. Uh, you know, this is one way to to how do you call this? Ah, uh, lagay natin rate and rate. So nakita niyo dito merong market, merong rate. So if you put market, that's gonna set um your execution at the market. But if you're gonna let's say gusto mong i-edit yung trade mo just select that halimbawa ito ang open na position i'm gonna click that and then if i want to move my stop loss kasi and 4.8 na automate pala buti na lang so 4.8 yung dati kong um eto dito ko siya nilagay yung stop ko dito ko bumili dito ko siya teka para mas clear hindi kasi hindi kasi katulad ng ano to ah investa uh, i forgot setting. So, 4.8, this is my cut loss. Kasi, syempre, I'm expecting na momentum to, di ba? Ayan. Tapos, dito yung entry natin, itong candle na to, dito natin nilagay yung stop loss natin. Kasi, ayun natin yung sobrang matinding retracement, eh. And then, finally, it broke out, and then, finally, it's here. What I can do, syempre, uh, pwede kong i-close kalahati ng trade ko, and then, leave the rest uh, running. Or what I can do is just set everything, yung trail stop ko dito sa low ng candle na to, which is at 5.12. So, what I can do here is I'm gonna set that, click stop loss, and then select 5.12. So, notice here yung stop loss ko is green, meaning $34 yung magiging kita ko if ever it's gonna close there. And if I wanna set my stop at 6 pesos, ibig sabihin, pag dumating siya doon, yun yung TP niya. Yan, 6 pesos. So, pwede ganyan. And then, click update. Actually, times 5 lang yung leverage ko dito sa ABP. Once I select update, then, lalabas na itong update na to. That's my stop loss. Uh, if ever it's gonna hit there, I'm gonna get $33. Not, not bad, di ba? If I'm gonna close the position, just select X, and it's gonna close the position as well. If I want to leverage, pwede din yan. No, unfortunately, you cannot update your leverage. Uh, you can only update your leverage on the new trade. So, kung papasok ka ng bagong uh, trade, then, yeah, it's gonna update. So, that's for for AVP. And then, we have here other stocks as well, like, uh, let's say, Burlington. Uh, here we have Burl. Okay, so, si Burlington, uh, let's check 5-year chart. 5-year chart, that's uh, really a uh, huge all-time high. 1-year chart, nandito na siya ngayon. It's doing a type 2 box. And then, we want to set a stop. Siguro, lagay natin dito sa 214, let's say 217. Or if you want to have a really tight, tight stop, lagay mo sa 220. Ang ginawa ko dito, ayan, stop loss at 220. Diyan siya nakalagay. And currently, hindi pa naman siya gumagalaw and nakalagay leverage times 10. Medyo maliit kasi yung ano, uh, ang tawag nito yung swing niya. Um, unless talagang nag-gap up like this one, it's 18%. This one is uh, 8%. So, isipin mo kung times 10 yan, 8, ano ka agad? Uh, plus 80%. <laughs> Crazy, but yeah. Um, pagka nakatay stop ka, okay naman. <laughs> So, wala, dapat talaga balansehin mo lang. Alright? But, know that these kind of plays are really cancerous pagka nagkamali ka. So, just be careful, especially with your amount. What you can do here, guys, if mataas yung leverage mo, liitan mo yung amount mo. If you want na pang trend following ka, your, uh, your leverage can be times 2. Ganon. Times 2 times 5. Pero if you're doing a momentum or kung masyadong mabagal yung stock, hindi masyado siya malikot unlike yung mga basura stocks dito, pwede din naman. Alright, but remember, uh, make sure to manage expectation as well. Manage your amount or yung uh, pera na in-invest mo as well. Notice here, um, if you go to portfolio, uh, total allocated is 3.5. Meron pa akong 178. You can check here for orders. Meron pa akong mga open orders. Ibig sabihin, naghihintay lang yan na ma-hit uh, before buying ulit. Ano nga ba yung binibili ko? By KNEB. 
HE. Mukhang sa Helsinki. Sa mga mahilig mag PUBG dyan, <laughs> si Helsinki ay aking binibili. Saan ba yan? KN Ebdiv. Ayan. Here you go. So as you can see here, ito na siya. This is our stock that we wanna be buying. Hindi pa siya na-hit. Probably I've been uh, buying somewhere over here. <laughs> yeah. Ayan. Lagay natin execute at 56.7. So nag-execute at 56.7. Ayan. Dito tayo bumili. So malamang ang, gin ang ano dito, ang stop is somewhere here. Alright? Or somewhere, let's say you just move it here if you want. So parang ano na yan, parang circuit breaker, no? Uh, 50MA at saka itong Darvas. So yan, we're making use of circuit breakers as well. Kasi syempre hindi naman yan dire-diretsyo na paakyat. Meron pa yung mga retracements. Yes, uh, max lang na 3 indicators. Kaya, ayan, tinanggal ko yung 20MA, nilagay ko lang yung 50 at 100, tapos yung RSI. Pwede mo namang i-gawin yung ano, dito sa KNFF. Here, pwede naman sa Itoro. Sa Itoro, max, kahit ilan, kahit lagay mo lahat. Pwedeng pwede. Ayan. So, here you have your MAs. May kulay pa, di ba? I mean, may kulay din naman to. But... <laughs> ayan. Tapos, real-time pa tong nandito sa Itoro. So you can do this better, much, much better. But again, remember, eToro sometimes doesn't have complete data unlike TradingView. This one has a lot more to offer than this one. But I mean, what's important is that makita mo naman kung 52-week high siya or hindi, di ba? So that's what's important. 